it is one of the paradoxes, isn't it, of Delhi. It is one of the most polluted cities in the world and it's also one of the greenest. Almost one-fifth of the region is covered by vegetation, a green area that has doubled between 2001 and 2011. So how has Delhi managed to increase its green cover despite the rapid urbanization? Nidhi Rai tries to get some answers. Residents of Sarvodaya enclave are full of joy and the reason for their happiness is this mini forest in the vicinity of their house. They think that the people living in the locality are blessed by the woods. I try and come here as often as I can. I think this is the best green belt that is really there. It is very natural and it's very, it's very soothing to come here. This is like the lungs of, of this area really. So it's always a pleasure coming here. The latest India State of Forest Report 2011 brought out by the Union Ministry of Environment and Forest says Delhi's green cover which includes shrubs and trees outside forests doubled in a decade from 151 square kilometer in 2001 to 296.2 square kilometer in 2011. The city's forest department claims the number has gone up by at least 2% now and is set to keep increasing over the next decade. Delhi is a, one of the greenest cities in, in the world and perhaps in India this is the greenest uh, capital city and Delhi is green, green because we have made consistent efforts over the last 15 years to sustain the uh, action of taking uh, greening of Delhi. Under the Green Action Program every year in the every year monsoon while all the major cities in India have less than 15% of their area under forest or tree cover and dwindling, Delhi lists a remarkable 20% according to the report. It is followed by Mumbai which is only 18.73%, Chennai and Kolkata are under 5% and the worst situation is in Ahmedabad as the city just has 1.65% of the green belt. There are almost 20 agencies working together to keep the capital green. In total, they have a yearly target of planting 15 lakh saplings in and around the city. Permission to cut a tree is given under the Tree Act, but then 10 saplings have to be planted in lieu of it. Three major acts which play a significant role in saving the greenery is Forest Conservation Act of 1980, Delhi Prevention of Trees Act and the Indian Forest Act of 1927. Delhi is divided into two zones, the Yamuna floodplains and the Delhi Ridge. The recorded forest area is 85 square kilometers. Environmentalist Ravi Agarwal, who runs NGO Toxic Links, is of the opinion that Delhi has a green history and the interesting geographical location makes it even more fascinating. Historically, Delhi has been a city which has had a lot of greenery because it was set in a, um, between the ridge and the river. So it had large, very open spaces, unlike cities like Calcutta and Mumbai uh, or, or even Chennai. And so there's been tradition of uh, horticulture and of forestry. Delhi's urban forests are the home to the richest biodiversity in the world. With the growing population, large number of migrants keep coming to the city every year. So the question arises, will Delhi be able to save its forest? Because to have a forest in this kind of a scenario is not a luxury, but a necessity. With camera person Sudhir Shram, Nidhi Rai, NDTV.